Good morning, everyone. It's pretty peaceful out here. Let's get some work done in the garden. It's hot and steamy out here. I haven't been out in the garden a whole lot between the fair and face painting, and I've got a face paint again this weekend. We're expecting heat indexes in the um, 110, 115 area. We are having some serious blight issues. Um, a couple of these cherry tomatoes down here on the end, I this one especially, um, we may be harvesting and pulling these out here real soon because this one, the blight goes quite a bit up. And uh, this is just a little tiny plant. It never got real big anyway. Stunned, I guess. So I'm going through pruning and trying to tie up tomatoes. Of course, my camera is going to fog because it is humid already this morning at about 6.30. Gabriel has started harvesting because we haven't in a couple of days. So I'm just afraid to prune much more. This is, I've been pruning like crazy. Oh my goodness. Thanks, buddy. Look at the zinnia. I've got one on the ground, so I'm going to cut that one in a minute and take it in the house. So many tomatoes to harvest. That one wasn't quite ripe. I put neem oil on them last night, guys. They may not taste real good, okay? He already dropped right out of his mouth. Look at that. Oh my goodness. We're only about halfway through. <laughs> Let's finish on the back side and we'll go to the front side to pick through because there's a lot on the other side. side. Okay, so I said. Let's finish the back side. I mean, I just found a jackpot. Let me use it. Fifty tomatoes at least now, definitely. <laughs> In the basket. Mm-hmm. We have some slicer solidette sized tomatoes that we're probably gonna harvest today too, which is pretty exciting. And here's a cucumber. Here's the cucumber. These are the Amos Collie tomatoes. Um, I don't know if that's Septora spot, maybe. I think it's how you say it. Might have to keep an eye on that, or if it's just damage from insects. Here, put those in there somewhere. Oh, holy cow. Two fused oh, together. It was fused. It's from a fused blossom cherry that was fused. Yep. Should I throw it in there? Or eat it. It's not quite ready. We just have so much blight, guys. It's been miserable. I sprayed everything with neem oil last night because I hadn't sprayed in a while. Um, I actually went through and I did the squash too, the pumpkins and the uh, all the things last night because I don't want to lose anything else. <laughs> I've got a section right there in the middle that I need to put some more seeds in apparently because you can see on the end there those three smaller ones right there. I planted that whole row with those and only four of them came up to start with but one of them must have died. I guess that one died. So I had to put a few more out here. Maybe. I mean this area will definitely fill in with all of these vines. Especially those Cherokee tans. They look like they're going to vine a lot. So, we'll just see. We'll just see. Some little bit of weeding we need to do, but we're getting there. Hey, buddy. Are you awake? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, so, so, so. Sire, careful. Don't tear them up, okay? Another big uh, one? Yeah. How big is it? Five yeah. Is it? Okay, well if there's another one, you need to pick that one too. Cut it. 
want me to cut it? Hey, <laughs> wait, why don't you let me? Okay. Good job, guys. Good job. So much. <laughs> Getting I wonder if I should be pretty bitto. I think I should put this in the window. No. Put that. Okay. This one. No, I believe we are going to pick because it. This is starting to think we split. Pick. Okay. Split. Put your hand under. Catch it for me. But. Sorry. I'm going to cut. Um, I don't know. Got it? Uh, oh. Light right there. Let me get some of these leaves off here. Hey, if you go set it up at the end of the row, I'll carry it in, okay? Because if you put it on top of those cherry tomatoes, it might smash them. You can come help pick cherry tomatoes if you want to, buddy. Two. Garbage. <laughs> I don't know what these are supposed to look like to pick, so I'm not picking. Those are big sun golds. They're okay, supposed ready? to be kind of orange like that. Okay? Okay, so I can pick this one. Yep. This one. Yeah, see, it fell off. <laughs> and there's a couple of indigo apple up here I'm going to pick. Really? Yep. Oh, there's one under here. Looks pretty good. Look at that one. It's a pretty nice tomato. So I have some Arapaho peppers in here that are looking pretty good. I didn't realize they were so huge. Look how big these are. Look how big those are. I'm pretty sure they turn red though, so we're gonna wait a little bit. They are spicy. What'd you find? Okay, here. Good job. Mm. Okay, buddy. That's a good one. Yeah, let me look at all the tags and see if they're actually ready. Because these are ready. Now, there's one on the back side, too. This is a big one. Good job. These are lipstick. So they get red. Wait for those to get red. There's some over here on this plant. On the bottom. That one right there. Yep. So the Swiss chart is looking rough, guys. I need to get in there and thin that out and cook some of it, apparently. I also need to pull a ton of grass over there. You can see there's some cattails coming up. I'll show you my Kajari melons in a little while that are over there that needed to have a trellis because it's for sure. But one of them, that plant over there, I know you can't really tell, is huge. It's huge, oh my goodness. Ooh, look at that. Yep, we can harvest that one. No laughing, guys. I am a hot, sweaty mess. I am not kidding. So I wanted to show you real quick what's going on in the garden. And, uh... I know I've been showing you the harvest, but uh, it's really doing really well right now, and we still have some space to fill, so I'm pretty excited about that. So through here, we have cucumbers and melons. They're doing pretty well. I need to plug one in there. And uh, these are all watermelon, except for these last two are zucchini, which I know everybody's getting zucchini right now, but me, because I pretty well lost mine. I plan to put sweet potatoes on this trellis because the sweet potatoes kind of took over a large part of the garden last year, but it's really late for sweet potatoes. I may put a couple of the plants that I have out just because I have them and then fill in some more with, I have a few more tomato plants I could put up here. These are pole beans and they are starting to come up. I'm super, super excited because there are several different kinds. And they're starting to come up all through here. I need to do a little weeding. Huh? I want to cut that peat, that salmon zinnia that's on the ground. Thank you. And then bush beans, which we have been trying to pull the grass out of because the grass got carried away. 
and then I don't know why they didn't germinate real well. I have some other beans to put in here and uh, try to see if we can get a few more plants going in here. I really need the rest of this grass pulled. Mom. Look at that. These are all the cherry tomatoes. There's a couple of Amos collies in there. And two cucumbers. Good job, buddy. There are some peppers down there. They can sit right on top of the cherry tomatoes. Okay. Yeah. Watch no walking right there. You just cut right across the bean row. No the peppers are putting fruit on. Um, we've been able to harvest a few things. The ones that are called D. Napoli from Baker Creek have been um, ready to harvest. Gabriel's holding. Gabriel is holding a pretty good size bell pepper. And then we got some D. Napoli down there. So the Arapaho peppers are huge, but not red yet. I need to work on this row of early greens. It's, uh, I mean, honestly, the whole row could come out, but I really, we will keep eating on the shard. And the lettuce at the end is obviously going to seed because I wanted to save some. So these are our Sugar Rush peach peppers. And um, let's see. This is what we have right now. They are kind of a yellow color. I think they get a little more peachy colored, so we're waiting to pick those. We have grass and zinnias and potatoes like crazy right here, and a volunteer tomato that is all over the ground. I probably need to pull that out. Um, the carrots and the beets are doing really well. I have a few onions still up over there. We pulled all of, pretty well all of the brassicas out because they were just so riddled with worms and uh, I will be starting fall crops next week because it's when I have some downtime. We actually start school the week after that um, because we homeschool. But look here. It's a Kajari melon and it goes all over the place and I need to get in here and pull the grass around it so we can find the melons. But this one over here doesn't have as much grass. Look how huge it is. Oh my gosh, guys. This is why we trellis these, apparently. Thank you so much for not listening, Alicia. <laughs> um, there are several melons in here. At some place. And um, it's just going crazy. I'm pretty excited about that. Look. There's a little bee in that melon flower. Some sort of a little bee. Hi, hey, little bee. <laughs> um, let's see. Tomatoes are, you know, they're getting ready to go completely nuts, and I'm going to be so busy with them. Let's see. I need to harvest some beets. They are ready. And we have quite a few of them over here that are just ready to be Get the, these Kyoja beets are so huge. They are just huge. And I need to pull some more carrots um, because I know we had some damage and I just haven't had time to. And my winter squash, guys. Hopefully the vine borers stay away from all the rest of my viney things and uh, we get a good harvest of those. So. For now, that's about it. It's still a little smaller than what it was last year, but considering the year we're having, it's okay. You know, we can't get everything just perfect when we garden, and that's all right. God didn't intend everything to be perfect all the time anyway. So even out in this hot humidity, I'm getting things some a few things done, and uh, and the garden is flourishing. So I hope you enjoyed our little garden tour and harvest this morning. Have a beautiful, blessed week.